Car. Car. What is it? Car. Hmm? That's right. Car. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This afternoon I am spending time with Tony. There she is, clapping her hands. <laughs> hey, are you happy, Anna? <laughs> um, um, what hour is it? I think it's already 5 p.m. Uh, here in um, uh, Albury, and our the weather is 24 degrees Celsius. Grabe ang the sun is shining, shimmering, splendid, guys. <laughs> This <laughs> see the sun guys. The sun is right. Ay, throw uha yog is. Go gi sa dire sa kuwa. Okay. Um I love to spend time with um Tony after uh, every time I finish my work uh and I let hubby have his own um me time as well. Okay. Um, kinanglan pud niya me time otherwise you know we go loco Ma mabuang mi <laughs> uh, kinanglan na og swap swap kay because um di mo good mi kadatuan diri sa ano um Australia we don't have yaya so um what do you call this yes yaya or helper so we share all the responsibilities with Tony, obviously, of course, okay, syempre, um, saba, parents good me, no? Uh, ginikanan good. But, um, it's, it's really different when you live abroad because you don't, especially if you don't have families abroad or relatives. So, um, ang support system is very low. Uh, ayan, so that's why um, after work I have to make sure nga um, uh, naagi po yung murag off akong bana hmm? so ayan, si Tony is playing just exploring things dri sa gawas yes Sali na nak. Unsa na? Hey? <laughs> Unsa ray na mo hang nakita? Ha? Huh? <laughs> um, I have something to to share to you guys. Uh, this is a very interesting topic because um, it might give you an idea or probably change your mind to switch from working in the hospital to the aged care facilities. The Australian government offers payment or should I say bonus to aged care registered nurses to reward their clinical skills and leadership. Uh, this benefit may not be that um, big or, or, or that significant but I think um, it's a good way to actually um, um, encourage registered nurses to work in the aged care facilities. Before I will tell you in details about this benefit that the federal government has decided to um, give to registered nurses who work in aged care um, I have some questions so are you a registered nurse who is considering to work in aged care facility um, maybe you're a registered nurse who already get bored with your usual routine either in the hospital in community setting and you are thinking like what if I'm gonna work in the aged care facility? How is how is it like? Or are you a registered nurse planning to move from aged care um, 
specialty to another um, field of specialization. Maybe you need to think twice. Why? Because of this benefit. <laughs> Without further ado, let's talk about this benefit in detail. This payment or the bonus, um, they also call this one as a commitment bonus. And this is um, to recognize the essential role of registered nurses who provide um, quality um, quality care for the um, elderly population in Australia. Working in aged care is very demanding and also challenging. So um, it would, I think, it's it's a really nice recognition for the Australian government to see um, the hard work and the um, the dedication of the registered nurses who work in the this kind of area, the aged care. To be eligible for this bonus or payment, the registered nurse needs to uh, be working in the same aged care provider for 12 months. Uh, Full-time registered nurses can receive um, $3,700 and those who will work part-time or casual will get the payment on a pro rata basis that means it will be based on the number of hours that um, you will be working throughout the 12 months. So you might be wondering what kind of aged care provider um, you need to be working with so that you will be eligible to get this bonus. So the first one it should be an approved aged care provider that is funded by the australian government second a multi-purpose service provider that offers aged care services third it should be a provider that offers aged care services under the um, commonwealth national aboriginal and torres strait islander flexible aged care program Fourth will be the nursing agency that hires or employs registered nurses to work in those three types of aged care organizations. <laughs> aged care organizations, okay? Um, what else should I say? Uh, you will receive the first payment if you work from the 1st of November 2021, that would be this year, up to the 31st of October 2022 next year so after that you will receive this first payment and the second payment if you work from the 1st of November 2022 to the 31st of October 2023 so it means that this pay um, the government will be doing two payments imagine that so if you will be staying in the same um, aged care provider for two years so you will be receiving seven thousand four hundred dollars for two years but that would be on top of your salary how good is that and um that the benefit doesn't stop there there is an additional payment that you can um, get if you will meet one of the four criteria and do you know how much this additional payment it's two thousand three hundred dollars so that okay <laughs> i am just amazed with this um commitment bonus to be honest so the first criteria is it four criteria i think one two sorry i think it's just three criteria okay delete delete <laughs> okay um, to get this additional um, payment, which is 2300 you should meet one of these areas. The first one, you should be working in a rural or remote areas. However, sad, um, sadly, not all um, rural or remote areas are, what do you call this, included. Um, they have categorized or classified the rural areas in the entire um, Australia um, into seven classifications this classification of the um, rural or remote areas um, is based on the modified Monash model and that 
um, model um, what do you call this um, classifies the geographical town of its remoteness and as well as the size of the town so the only uh, areas that uh, the only remote or uh, the only remote the only rural or remote areas that is eligible to this additional payment is are those under the MMM 5 to 7 so um, I will be sharing the link if you are really interested which part of the Australia or oh yeah which part of the rural or remote areas in Australia you will be able to get this um, additional payment if you really want to work in aged care the second one if is if you hold a relevant formal postgraduate qualification such as graduate certificate in nursing or higher than that then you will be able to get this additional payment the 2300 and the last one would be if you take up a uh, role uh, if you take up a leadership role or training role in the workplace then you will be able to be um, qualified to this additional payment so can you imagine getting um, the basic is 3700 right and if you will be eligible for this additional payment which is the 2300 imagine getting six thousand dollars per year for two years on top of your annual salary I would say uh, like me it is um, really helpful uh, it's something that will um, make you feel appreciated right and um, financially it's also yeah. very helpful especially in times of um, in, in times that we many of our uh, many of us have or our, even our family members have lost jobs due to um, pandemic and um, this commitment bonus is really a big plus so if you are thinking of so if you are already an aged care registered nurse and you're thinking of like you know i want to i i want to move i want to change career maybe you might consider staying two more years in aged care <laughs> right? um because um where you where can you get that six thousand right and um, how are you going to receive this payment? So the answer is the aged care provider will be the one to process the payment on your behalf. And um, you will receive the payment as part of your salary. How good is that? But since this, um, the first time period starts on the 1st of November, so I'm, because I work in aged care, so I'm thinking I have already worked 26 days for that 12 months. <laughs> so it's still a long way to go. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I hope this one will also give you an idea. Um, what do you call this? There is an exclusive benefit for... Um, those who work in aged care. Um, through this commitment bonus, the Australian government hopes to retain skilled registered nurses in aged care and they wish to attract um, registered nurses, uh, registered nurses who wants to explore a career in aged care. So as a matter of fact, uh, registered nurses who worked in aged care last year also received a retention bonus and um, full-time nurses uh, received up to eight hundred dollars and the pain and they get this uh, what do you call this um, there were three payments last year so that was a total of two thousand four hundred dollars so um, I believe that the Australian government is trying to really keep the um, nurses um, to stay in aged care because they know that the um, you know the elderly population are one of those uh, most vulnerable. Hey. Hello, Tony. If you wish to know anything about um, nursing in Australia, which 
I have not yet discussed, you can also comment below and um, I will try my best to um, have a look at it and I might be able to do a video as well. Okay? Alright, motherhood time. See you guys.